Hello my friend, in this video I'm going to show you how you can pitch to the Spotify editors to have a better chance of having a successful Spotify playlist editorial submission. To give you that better chance to get on Spotify editorial playlists and have all the streams in the world. So one thing that I wanted to mention right off of the top of this video is that shortly I'm going to cut to a clip that I did where I actually did a live breakdown of me filling out the playlist submission for a song that actually ended up on one Spotify editorial playlist. So that'll be super useful I think. It actually shows me live going through it and the results do speak for themselves. So hopefully you'll get a lot out of that. But before I continue, I also want to let you know that I've written an article on this topic. So if you'd like to follow along or if you simply prefer the written word format, simply Google Best Friends Club Spotify Editorial Playlist Submission. So to be honest, I'm pretty happy that I filmed myself doing this and had the actual result come through. I think it's, it's super cool that that happened like that and now I think it's gonna be super useful for you. Before actually showing the clip, I wanted to dive a little bit into uh, how you can do this and a few tips that I have to get on Spotify editorial playlists and make the best out of your pitch. Just for a little bit of background, I've been releasing music for the last year and a half or so. I've gotten about five songs on about 13 Spotify editorial playlists now, and that's all racked up about 3 million streams. So along the way, I figured out a few tips. Some may be obvious and some are a little bit less obvious. But to start off with the basics, the way that you could actually submit your song to the Spotify editors for editorial playlist consideration, you need to log into the Spotify for Artists dashboard. If if you do not have access to that yet, I will have a link in the thing here to show you a video on how you can get started with that. Basically, the way that you do it is by submitting your music directly to the editors right from the Spotify for Artists dashboards. So to make a Spotify playlist submission, you simply have to log into the dashboard, navigate to the music tab. On the music page, you'll be able to click the upcoming tab page then select the unreleased song that you'd like to submit and fill out the submission form. And with that out of the way, I also wanted to jump into a few tips that I should mention before we get into the clip. So first is to make sure that you submit your music one to two weeks in advance to make sure that you at least get on your followers release radar playlist. You'll hear a whole bunch of different things of how far in advance you should pitch, but about one or two weeks is generally good enough in my experience. You should also know that you can actually only pitch one song at a time. So this is why I would recommend releasing singles as opposed to EPs or albums, because when you release an album, say with 10 songs on it, you can only pitch one song. So all those nine songs are kind of a waste in, in my opinion. By releasing as singles, you're able to pitch more often, so you at least get on more release radar pushes, and you get in the eyes of the editors much more frequently. So this is why I would aim to release a new song every four to six weeks. This way you can maximize on your pitches, release radar placements, and show consistency to the Spotify editors. And then when it comes to actually pitching the music, make sure that you're as honest with yourself as possible when you are selecting all of the boxes. So when it comes to selecting different genres, moods, and instrumentation that are on your song, which are all things that you get to select when you're making the playlist pitch. So being as honest as possible, make sure that your music gets sent to the right Spotify editor. For example, if you have a rap song and you end up selecting country, then that song is going to get sent to the country editor who's going to listen to that and, and have no playlist to put your music on. So make sure that you are quite honest with yourself when selecting everything. Other than that, like honestly, the, the part at the end where you have to add a little bit of description, I would say just be be a little bit more playful and human. Know that on the other end, there is a human being. So kind of put that into consideration. But other than that, I actually wouldn't sweat the playlist pitch too much, to be honest with you. In my opinion, getting the attention of the Spotify editors is a lot more about consistency and releasing music more frequently. By pitching your music to the editors more frequently and growing your streams and how well you're doing on the platform from release to release to release will eventually pay off for you. Essentially, you have to have, to have the mindset of you need to give the Spotify editors a reason to give a shit about what you're doing. And one of the best ways to do that is to actually be consistent and continue to grow how you're doing things. And one last tip is that if you can do any collaborations, particularly with an artist that's at a higher level than you, the Spotify editors will see this and that could also be a cool thing for them to see that may get their attention as well. And finally, before we get to the actual clip of me going through the process, I wanted to mention that I put together a completely free course called The Six Secrets to Spotify Success. There'll be a link to that in the description. It basically goes through a lot of understanding the Spotify algorithm and a lot of the extra things that I've done on my way to getting 3 million streams and 13 Spotify editorial playlists that you may find useful. So if you wanna check out that free course, there's a link to that in the description. And finally, with that said, let's get right into the actual playlist submission. 
Okay, Doug, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to artist.spotify.com. And if you don't have access, you're going to want to click Get Access and Claim Your Profile. Or else you're just going to want to click Log In. I use it with the Continue with Facebook. I have Facebook connected, so I just have to click that. And then it zips me in. So if uh, you've submitted it and it's actually gone through to Spotify, it could take a couple of days when you're using DistroKid. Usually it only takes about three days, I want to say, but it can depend. Um, so if you've done that, then it should show up right on the home screen. So you'll see right here, pitch a song to our editors. Whoops. Pitch a song. You'll see right here, pitch a song to our editors. Uh, Nemo releases on February 8th, 2021. Pitch a song to our editors. The brothers can hear it, blah, 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 blah. So you can click that, and it'll bring it to you, the this pitch page. Um, if you don't see it there, you can also go to Music, uh, and then move over to the fourth tab, which is called Upcoming, and you should see it there. So you can click here, pitch a song as well. Uh, if you have an EP with multiple tracks, you'll have to pick one, which is why you don't want to do multiple tracks. You want to do one at a time. Uh, that way you can pitch one at a time as well. Class next, it will should automatically default to your hometown, which is true-ish. I'm living at my dad's right now in Mississauga, but that's beside the point. Uh, so I'm going to press next. And now you can start adding in the song details. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pick the song's main genre. So for this song, I am going to click dance slash electronic. And then you can pick up to three subgenres. So whenever you're doing this, whenever it says choose up to whatever amount, generally you want to try to pick all three if you can, or whatever the number is. But make sure that you're as true to what the song is as possible. Because what you've got to remember is the editors will get submissions based on what you're clicking here. So if I picked I'm a piano and this is not an I'm a piano song, whatever the hell that is, the I'm a piano editor is going to see this and be like, this doesn't fit and then most likely not use it. They like There's a chance that they might be like, oh, this song's so great, let me send it to the right person. But I would not bank on that. Make sure you do a good job of picking the right subgenre. So for this one, I'm just going to kind of go scroll through the list of the tracks here. I think Deep House definitely falls in the category. And just looking through, House could work. Lo-Fi House is definitely something that will work for me. And then I'm just going to keep looking through. So now at this point, I'd say these two are really close to what the sound is. Uh, and now this third one is a bit of a risk because it's going to be potentially not a, a good match. And I may be droning on a little bit, so I might cut that out. But whatever, I'm just going to film this process. I'm going to go ahead and for this song, you know what? When in doubt, put the song on. So I'm just going to go over to my access or whatever and find the song and just listen to it for a second. I'm going to try minimal. I think it's worked for me before. So next to music cultures, I don't think that mine falls into any of these. So I'm just going to be honest and click none. Then the mood, I'm going to listen to it again real quick. I'm going to say it's chill. I'm going to say it's chill and I think it's kind of happy. Maybe meditative, but probably happy. Let's go with those two. Uh, then choose two song. Ta it could fall under beats, maybe. Because um, it's instrumental. Taking a guess there. What instruments are on here? There's bass guitar for sure. There is a drum kit. I don't think there's any electric guitar. There is um, I'm looking through here. Synthesizer for sure. Samples. And I'm not sure if I want to say piano. Let me. See. Doesn't really sound like a piano. But so I'm gonna leave that out. Uh, is it a cover? No. Is it a remix? No. Is it instrumental? There's kind of some vocal chops, but I'm going to leave it as instrumental. And how is it recorded? It was in the studio. 
Finn, have a quick review of this. I'm sure it's fine. So I'm just going to press next. Then the this is all the extra stuff that they're going to see, the editors. Um, and what I'm going to do is add a description, which is optional, but you should probably do something. Um, so for this one, I'm not going to put anything too crazy. I usually don't put anything too crazy in this, to be honest with you. So um, I don't think this is really a defining factor in how you get an editorial playlist. But um, I'm going to say um, my friend BHXA from Turkey sent over the um, main piano or keyboard melody um, and I turned it into a fun but chill chillin uh, deep house style song um, promoting it um, and then so one thing that I learned that this style of music is called apparently it's called float house so uh, by the way um, apparently this style of music is called float house um, apparently some people are calling this Subgenre of house music, float house. Um, uh, I'll say some. By the way, some people messaged me, DM'd me on Instagram, and mentioned this subgenre of house music. <laughs> it's called Love House LOL uh, I'll be promoting it with the tune with um, uh, Instagram Facebook ads social posts and a few emails like normal Thanks a lot for listening, and have a great day, my friend. Hit me up, I'm going to say. So there it is. We'll see if this one gets editorials, because it'll be kind of neat, and that way you have this as uh, whatever, something to go off of. Anyway, that's it. I'm just going to submit it. I don't usually care too much about this stuff. Here's a look at the submission in detail. Screenshot it if it's useful for you. And um, let's press pitch. And then it says thank you for your pitch. It shows you the artwork. And uh, yeah, you can only pitch one song at a time. So once this one goes live, you can do another one, which is why I recommend doing only one song at a time when you're submitting to Spotify. And there it is. It's pitched. You can edit it. And all that stuff, if you'd like to, you can view it uh, by clicking on and press view. And you can edit it by clicking on edit. I don't know if if you edit it, if it'll uh, kind of reset the when it's being submitted. So try not to uh, mess about with it once it's submitted. But um, there it is. New song submitted. And hopefully that is useful. Have a good one, my friend. Hello again, my friend. Hopefully you found that clip useful. Before wrapping up this video, I wanted to show you how this song is performing today and give you a little bit of insights into the playlist that it actually got onto and all that kind of cool stuff. So now we're in the back end of my personal Spotify for Artists dashboard. Here is that song, Nemo. To date, it has about 9,000 streams. It's not that great, but I mean, I'm honestly happy with it. As you can see, I released the song on February 8th, and the first couple days, it got about 70 streams, 80 streams or so. And then on that first Friday, it shot up to 421 streams and danced around kind of the 200 to 300 mark for the next couple of weeks. And then if you actually click into the playlist tabs for this song, you can see that we'll change this to since 2015. 
so that it shows a longer time period. And then you can see this song has been added to 329 playlists so far. And if you see right here, there is a playlist that's been added to called Friday Crate Diggers. If you click this open, it'll actually open this playlist. And as you can see, uh, Friday Crate Diggers is a uh, the week's handpicked new dance and electronic music featuring Sam Gellitry right now. And it is a playlist from Spotify. So one of the reasons I think this song didn't do as good is because this editorial in particular is a weekly playlist so new songs get turned over every single week so although it did do good for the week that it was in the playlist after that it ended up getting pushed out and obviously the streams went down after that but still very cool i'm very happy that spotify did this it's actually one of the cooler playlists that i've been added to i've been added to a bunch of like pilates playlists and stuff like that which is still super cool and i'm super grateful for it but uh friday crate diggers is a lot cooler of a playlist than a pilates one in my opinion still so grateful for spotify for doing adding any of these but still fairly cool and finally, with that said, hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe and all that good stuff so that you can see more videos like this in the future. Other than that, good luck on your next release, good luck on your next pitch, and I will see you in the next video, my friend. Have a good one.